Hey folks, Lil Ferdinand here, and uh, I'm excited about this one, because I love this game. It's G.I. Joe, a real American hero for the NES, and as it scrolls, I'm going to tell you things about it. Uh, game was developed by Kid, which is known for making uh, things like Low G-Man and Kickmaster, and the sequel to this game, The Atlantis Factor. Published by Taxan, who's known for Star Soldier, Eight Eyes, Bry Fighter. They currently just do electronical components right now, which is kind of sad, because, you know, they had a lot of big hits. Uh, this was produced by a name that you should know very well, Ken Lobb, who, if you know who he is, why are you a gamer? <laughs> uh, he's known for making GoldenEye, I'm sure we all know that. Killer Instinct, and a whole bunch of other great games while he was working with Nintendo. And a little coffee there before we get started. <clears throat> Got your cast of characters. Rock and Roll, Duke, Snake Eyes, Captain Great Iron, Blizzard, who's useless. Whatever. But, yeah, let's get started. Good morning, man. The time has come to rid the world of the Cobra Organization. For too many years, this group of thugs has terrorized the innocent people of the world, and it's time to act. We have some good information on the location of the main Cobra bases, and we feel that soon we will be able to locate the secret base where Cobra Commander is hiding. This mission will be an attack on the jungle base deep in the Amazon. Duke, you'll be the leader of this mission. Please select your team. Yo, Joe! And as we all know, if you play this game, Duke is the best. I don't want to hear it. I will fight you for that. Let's go, Duke. Let's go kick some ass. It's simple. You've got punches, and you've got jumps. If you hit select, oh look, I have a gun. Run away, Duke has a gun. Let's kill this guy. It's a party in the jungle. I mean, look at the trees. The trees are all dancing, the water is swimming. That guy just hit me in the face. That guy, because I wasn't paying attention. That guy ran to his doom. That's really high up, but he's, well, yeah, I'll just give it to Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes my second favorite. God damn. It. Yeah, this guy. He dies. Like I was saying earlier, this is this is one of my favorite NES games, and I believe underrated gem, hidden gem. Do so say. I don't know. I never really hear people. I don't really see people talk about it too much, which is sad. It's, it is one of the best licensed games on the system, bar none. I would even say this is better than its sequel. Amazing. We've got everything here. We've got cover guys shooting cover guys, finding hidden stuff in trees. Guys popping up from the foreground to the background. Collecting bullets, shooting boars right in the face. Everybody loves that. And should be coming on these guys. Their first boss. Cover Condor ZX5. See, Duke is so awesome. He'll take out a freaking plane with his gun. What happened? Alright, it splits! Ah! Uh, there we go. Punch, punch, punch. I always do that. I don't know why. Condor's defeated. Mission 1, 2. <clears throat> so, Joe, you think you're pretty tough? Well, I'm waiting! He's gonna be waiting a while because, well, not that long. The space is pretty short. And another thing this soundtrack kicks ass. Give it a listen. You can't see it, but I'm dancing. It's that good. G.I. Joe is here, and they're going to kick your ass. Kick your ass. Doesn't look very good now, because I'm playing it, and... We all know how bad I am. <laughs> ah! 
Get off my back, dude. Get down here to grab these things. Bullets, invincibility. You need snake eyes to get up here. So. Always, rule, rule. Always bring snake eyes. Always. Snake eyes is awesome. And he doesn't need a gun. He will beat you with ninjutsu. He's a badass. That's all we're trying to say. That goes up there. Ah! Squid right in the face. More like a stingray, actually. Shut up. Leave me out of this. Hey. Right. One more bomb. Who's the guy who comes in and does the check marks? Because, you know, maybe he could have just destroyed the base. And say hi to Raptor. With this bird. You got nothing on dude, though. And his spread ring laser of doom! Yeah! Take that! Hurry up! Gonna go. You defeated my forces, but I won't be so easy! Unless he's in Vegas. Of course, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Remember that. I know. I'm... I apologize for the lack of game content. I've just been trying to figure out what to play. Cause I do that. But, yeah. And... I hate to admit it, while I get into the, uh, Cobra Chopper here, but... I didn't really like the Mario commentary. I don't know. I was trying to be kind of informative, and... I don't know. Just... I don't know, it just... It was really stilted, and not to say forced, but I don't know. I was not a fan, and I should be switching to Snake Eyes because I'm wasting these gun power-ups. <laughs> oh yeah, so I decided we're going to go back to sort of old-school Will commentary, which we all know and love. Maybe a little less sweary, but just, I really don't swear all that much. Yeah. Yeah, new level. And here comes Range Wiper. He said he wasn't going to be easy. But, yeah. Duke's laser just wrecks everything in this game. It's awesome. Come on, Duke. Get in. Get out of there. No one noticed that, by the way. You think explosions happen in the Amazon all the time. If you were there, you would know this. <laughs> all right, yeah. Ha have a password on me, guys. It's not a very good password, but take it. Uh, this is episode one of uh, G.I. Joe. And hope you've enjoyed this episode. Liked it. Share it. Uh, links to, you know, updates of Facebook and Twitter-like capacities. <laughs> down there in the description but that's a wrap so till next time guys take care of yourselves <laughs>